1043. If you'd like to make a temporary sundial using your fingertip shadows like we've laid out here, it's real easy to do, but it's only accurate twice a year. If you'd like to make a permanent one, follow along as we show you how. The reason stationary sundials are only good twice a year is because the Earth is constantly moving on its elliptical orbit around the Sun. As it moves, the axis tilts more or away from the Sun. That means the gnomon, the center point, has to move. That's going to be you. To get instructions for how to make a sundial that's personalized to your location, go to this website. You'll determine the width, you'll put in your zip code, it will spit out all the information you need. You can even get more step-by-step -step instructions by clicking on the Instructable link. After printing out the instructions from the computer, head out to a nice, sunny, flat area. It can be your yard, driveway, or a big open parking lot. Bring along some chalk, a measuring tape, some string, marking tape, a straight edge that makes a right angle, a compass, or you can use the compass on your phone. We chose to make a 10-foot animaletic sundial, so I'm trying to make sure we have enough room where I'd like to put it in the sun. You want to make sure it's oriented to true north, not magnetic north, and you want to put your axis right on the five foot mark. Be sure to mark your endpoints. We measured our east-west axis first because that's the larger size and our limiting factor. Now we're doing the shorter north-south axis at three feet four inches. Your computer will tell you the exact dimensions. to draw a perfect ellipse is to cut the length of string they tell you in the instructable and put it on two posts or have kids hold stakes to keep the string in place. Then all you do is follow the triangle. draw your axis. You'll need these later. One o'clock at four and three-eighths inch. Two o'clock, eleven and three-eighths inches. is the vertical part of a sundial that casts a shadow where you read the time. Remember, that's going to be you in our sundial, so we need to mark where you will stand and make it accurate every month. The computer program will tell you exactly where to make the marks. Now, you just mark your months. They don't go in order. It's October 8th, 12 noon, we're right on time. If you want to make this more permanent, you obviously need paint. The nice thing about chalk is you can erase it. 